Hey guys, it's Charlie from Engineer Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate a weighted standard deviation in Excel. So stay tuned. A weighted standard deviation is a means of calculating the standard deviation where not all of the observations have the same weight. And this formula is what we will use to calculate it. W is the weight of each observation. X is the value of the observation. X bar W is the weighted average. And N prime is the number of non-zero observations. So to get started, we need two sets of data. The first set of data contains the samples, and the second set of data contains the weight of each of those samples. I have those here in columns B and C on my spreadsheet. I'll give the column containing the samples the name XI, and the column containing the weights the name WI. I can use create from selection to name those arrays. By selecting formulas, and create from selection under define names. Then I just make sure the top row is checked and click OK. Now the array of values underneath XI has the name XI and the array of values underneath WI has the name WI. Next we need to calculate the weighted average of the samples. We'll call that X bar W and the formula for the weighted average is sum product of xi and wi divided by the sum of wi. Sum product simply takes each element in xi and multiplies it by the corresponding element in wi and then sums them all together to return a single value. So here our weighted average or weighted mean is 12. Next we need to count the number of non-zero samples in our data set. We'll just call that n and for this value, we'll use the count if function in Excel. So n equals count if a value in wi is not equal to zero. That has to be enclosed in double quotations. And the symbol for not equal in Excel is a less than sign and a greater than sign. So we obviously have five non-zero weights in our data set. If I change one of these values to zero, the value of n changes to four. Finally, we can calculate the standard deviation by using Excel functions to create the formula I showed earlier. In Excel, that is square root of the sum product of wi times the quantity xi minus x bar w squared divided by the sum of wi times n minus 1 divided by n. And we get a weighted standard deviation of approximately 5.9. This video has been brought to you by engineerexcel.com. If you'd like to learn more about how to solve your tough engineering problems in Excel, sign up for our free Excel training for engineers using the link in the description below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.